Malad, where's NASCAR 21? Malito, where's NASCAR 21? Radman, where's NASCAR 21? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Guys, I, I, don't, I don't make the game. I don't make it. I just play the game. That's all I do. I feel like I've gotten asked this question so, so much this month, especially in the month of June. To be honest, I kind of deserve it. I did. I really did think that we would get something in June. Um, well, switch that over to July because I don't think we're getting anything in June. Uh, we're approaching the end. I don't. Is it smart, you know, tactically to, to release game information at the end of a month? I don't think so. So uh, we'll probably wait till July. But this video is going to be all about, well, where is it? Where is NASCAR 21? And uh, because we haven't made a video in a while, just for those of you that are probably wondering, what's going on with the with the game that situation um basically i'll share all the all the information i know that i have um that is on on websites that you can find um whether it be like a uh a call which that was actually the last video was the uh, earnings call so if you didn't see that go check that out but we'll talk about the things that are confirmed and uh some things about motorsport games and and stuff about that um and just you know the, in general when do you think nascar 21 is gonna when's the news gonna come out some stuff about the game and and um the release date shout out to all the patreon supporters for supporting the channel uh we have a new one actually uh so chris thank you for coming on board uh with the patreon and supporting the channel really really appreciate that so welcome aboard um thank you guys as always so let's get into it first off we're going to talk about um basically everything we know about nascar 21 and i'm, I'm actually going to show you something that i haven't shown you yet which is it's a uh, a presentation actually from from this month from june of 2021 um, this is on uh, motorsportsgame.com. It's it's public information. Again, motorsport game or motorsports games is is a uh, public company. It is on the, the the stock market. You know, you can trade for uh, for stock everything. So a lot of their information does have to go public. It, it's not like a private company where you can keep everything private. A lot of it goes public. You have to please the shareholders. You have to have earnings calls. You have to have presentations. All that stuff. So. A lot of this stuff does end up going public. Okay, so right here is a, it's a presentation um, that is on here. Investor presentation. If you were investing, you would see this. So we have an investor presentation over here. Now this just kind of sums up Motorsport Games as a whole. And I just wanted to share some things about this uh, real quick. Because this all does come into play with NASCAR 21. And something that I actually just learned. Uh, look at the bottom, look at the bottom of the screen there. Rob uh, Diedrich, or Died, Died. D Dare deck? I, I don't listen. It's been a while since I watched MTV uh, and ridiculousness. If you guys know Rob, he's a he is a former pro skateboarder. He uh, he has built his MTV empire, um, and I know him mostly from ridiculousness, which was uh, a pretty funny show on on MTV. But he's actually one of the independent directors on here. If you go to the middle of the screen, you guys see Fernando Alonso. We've known about that. He's on the advisory board. So uh, when guys, when I say there's a uh, a lot of money <laughs> backing this company you have rob here who's his net worth is literally a hundred million dollars i'm not kidding about that um and then you have fernando alonso who how who, isn't alonso's net worth probably higher than <laughs> i'm gonna look that up now actually how much is fernando alonso worth fernando alonso is worth 240 million dollars <laughs> Okay, so that is $340 million just out of two people here. One on the advisory board, one on the independent directors. But yeah, um, so uh, listen, we, we all know that uh, Motorsport Games is, is big and they're coming. Uh, and then we got, you know, the main guys, Dimitri, Jonathan, and uh, you guys can't actually see. I need to move that up. Steven Hood, um, who is uh, the executive game production. He actually came from Codemasters, so uh, be happy about that. Now, here's the main part of the presentation we'll focus on our NASCAR franchise, uh, NASCAR Next. Now, again, that's not the name of the game. Um, from what I was told, not the name of the game. I don't know what the name is. If it's just NASCAR 21, I'll be happy with that. NASCAR Next, I don't necessarily agree with, but you know, you know how um, co or co projects take on code names or placeholder names. The fact that Motorsport Games is a public company, they have these uh, investor calls, they have these earnings calls, all this kind of stuff, right? You kind of need code names or product names for something. So this isn't the name. Uh, I have been told this is not the name. So first installment of the new series. We knew that. And by the way, the reason why I didn't share this earlier is because we kind of knew all this anyways. So it, it wasn't really news to me. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. But now that's been a while since, you know, we've had anything on the game. I just want to point this out uh, in, in case any of you guys don't know. First told me the new series uh, takes a successful heat franchise to the next level. Was it successful? Yeah, man. Depends on what your you know definition of success is. Powerful new game engine, AAA graphics, all new physics and AI. That's what I'm excited for. Very, 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 very happy about. Um, we know about the new game engine. We don't know the exact details. It might be, uh, I think it is. Well, was it confirmed that's a custom engine? 
we don't know. You can always take iterations of an engine that's already known, tweak a few things around it, and then say it's your engine, but um, then you have to pay licensing fees for that. So you don't want to do that. So this, it probably is a custom engine um, that, you know, Motorsport Games has been building. Uh, obviously, the AAA graphics are great. Uh, all new physics and AI, we will see. Uh, most interactive and entertaining NASCAR experience that Motorsport Games has ever built hopefully and target launch in the back half of quarter three of 2021 on ps5 xbox and pc back half quarter three is most likely still september somewhere around late september could be early october but back half of quarter three is is around september and so now we just kind of wait for them to reveal what the actual i mean is kyle bush gonna be on the cover no i, I would assume not no probably not um that's not gonna be that's a bit that's a boring cover <laughs> <laughs> you just have one driver and then like a little sun. It's just code stuff. Um, it, it, this is not, you know, don't look too much into that. And then there's a nice little roadmap here. Um, so you have the, the NASCAR 21 game coming out. Uh, and then it will be coming on Switch as well. Now, it isn't going on Switch uh, at the time that it will go on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. That's, from what I know, the Switch game is different. Obviously, because, you know, you can't program the same game to go on a ps5 and an xbox and pc and then say oh we're gonna also port that to switch that's not how that works the switch does not have that kind of power um the switch is gonna be a different game probably coming out very late the holiday season probably somewhere around there i mean late late 2021 and then as you guys know nascar is is a yearly game so as weird as it sounds nascar heat 5 did come out last year it's been very long right it's, it's been a long time since uh nascar heat 5 uh came out but nascar heat 5 did come out last year july of 2020 nascar has an agreement with motorsports games that it has to be a yearly game they gotta make a game per year so you have nascar 2 nascar 3 um in there and then you have a uh the btcc game on here or the bt so yeah the btc british touring car championship series on here uh in 2022 and then le mans apparently coming in 2023 and this doesn't include uh other franchises that motorsport games might get Obviously, I've been, you know, hoping they go get uh, IndyCar, but we will see about that. And then the rest of the presentation, guys, is just, you know, it's normal uh, presentation stuff, right? It's, it's, it's kind of cool, cool to look at this and, and see it, but it is just normal uh, presentation stuff. And it's a, they're very aware of things, too. Um, I, This is like a cool little graphic. So, iRacing. They have it up here. Audience, we got over here. Racing, uh, casual arcade over here. Um, they, they literally placed NASCAR Heat 5 close to the casual arcade area. They, they know, <laughs> they know NASCAR Heat 5 is more of a casual arcade. Um, racing, you have F1, you have Forza, you have Gran Turismo, then driver training equipment, basically as hard of a sim as you want to get. Um, that's iRacing. So you can see that they, these guys understand where things are. You have Mario Kart over here. Basically what the audience means is, is Mario Kart captures a very large, uh, portion of the audience and it does it's a very very awesome game need for speed also does that gran turismo also does that and then as you see it gets kind of smaller and smaller nascar heat 5 and f1 more not not as you know popular because it's not something as casual as as mario they have it over here um where the audience is a lot smaller i racing audi audience is is the smallest out of all of these i racing's audience is the smallest but it is the most severe. So um, they, they even know the racing. This just shows me they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. I'm very happy about that. I, I thought this this was really cool. Um, but everything else is just, you know, normal uh, normal stuff when you go to a, a nice little presentation, like a little PowerPoint. You know, sit, you sit at the desk, you have a nice coffee and a snack and an hour-long presentation. So that's all this is. Now we're going to head into, like, the speculation uh, part of this video. And it's just a few things that I want to point out that I would prefer in these games. Um, we know that this is going to be a triple A quality game, right? Uh, or that's what they're going to be aiming for. And I was just thinking about a few features that I would really like. And, and I'm not talking about, um, like we, we already know about the physics. We already know about the graphics. Those are the main things, right? That we know, uh, will be changed or will be, you know, getting better. Uh, but there was, there was, let's say one thing that I really, really want. I'm going to go into a few features here, but there's one thing. I don't know if it's possible. Um, cause I don't think F1 does it. Does Codemasters do it with F1? I don't think they do. Um, and obviously Forza doesn't do it cause they're, they're a, uh, Xbox exclusive with PC and everything. But because this is a third party publisher, I was wondering if there is a way, cause I feel like this would be so important to get crossplay enabled. I think crossplay has been absolutely fantastic for games like Rocket League, uh, Warzone, Fortnite, anything like that. It grows the base or it, it grows the community of the great the game 
triple fold quadruple fold it is it is massive what crossplay can do i am not that techy of a person so i don't know the the ins and outs of how do you get crossplay to to work uh, with your game and make sure you could get a ps5 player to play with a xbox series x player and pc players all at the same time um i don't know exactly how that works i know that ea are are trying and they're they're putting a focus on crossplay. If you notice all of EA's games, very soon I'm expecting FIFA and and Madden, their sports games, to actually be crossplay enabled soon. But a lot of their other types of games are crossplay enabled. And so I was just wondering if that is possible with, with this game. Because guys, I think crossplay would be by far the best feature if it was added. I don't care about I mean what we're talking about paint booth, we're talking about career mode, we're talking about online multiplayer. There's one feature I think would be so good. That's crossplay. Crossplay would be so awesome because um, then that means you know uh, all your PC players can race with the console players. All your, con uh, your you could build a massive league, multiple leagues. Um, you don't gotta worry about your friends being on a different console. It's just it's so beneficial. Um, and I was wondering maybe just maybe that'd be my dream if if one day we can get that. Other features obviously I'm hoping for are paint booth and stuff. But I think from what we're seeing. Uh, with this game is that I think the main features will be the core of the game uh, And I think those extra features will probably be somewhere down the line So I'm, I'm talking about a story mode like that f1 has this year uh, Which I will definitely be playing and recording and putting up on this, on this channel that I don't expect to be coming I would be pleasantly surprised uh, stuff like a full-blown team owner manager kind of mode like you could buy a team and, and run everything about it i'm talking everything i'm talking like you could buy 100 motorsports and run everything about the organization uh kind of like a my team mode in a way of of f1 again i don't think that's coming yet i think that's their their, their plan but that's not coming yet i think the main features that will be coming are the the completely revamped physics the completely revamped graphics the completely revamped sound a completely revamped ui completely revamped everything presentation everything about that and and a revamped career mode i think there will be a very a pretty good career mode in there i think career mode would probably be a focus but i think the core of the game is probably the focus more uh, i was just thinking i wanted to share that idea in this video before before we end it here i don't want this this is probably a pretty long video already i don't want to end it too or extend it too much longer but uh what do you guys think about crossplay i was just thinking man if you if you want to grow the the community of your game or the the audience of your game i mean let's let's go back to to that graph this graph right here the the, the racing game landscape mario kart is not crossplay we know that but that's because mario kart is a nintendo exclusive correct but even if you don't have a Nintendo, you know what Mario Kart is and you love Mario Kart. Need for Speed, uh, I don't know if Need for Speed is crossplay enabled, but again, that is an EA game. Um, and I am pretty sure if it is not that EA in their next iteration of Need for Speed, I don't know when that, that comes out, but that will also be crossplay enabled. It might already be, but I I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Gran Turismo is a PlayStation exclusive. Forza is a Xbox exclusive. So those two obviously cannot do the, the crossplay thing um, because of you know their exclu exclusiveness. But that's where these two come into play. Look at where they are on the, on the map. You can easily grow your audience in these two, to be honest. If you can, if you literally just enable crossplay, and it's not like you're 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 bringing in more of a a a casual kind of audience. It's the fact that if you enable crossplay in F1 and NASCAR Heat, the 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 total audience becomes bigger in terms of who you can interact with. That means PlayStation players interact with Xbox players, Xbox players interact with PlayStation players, Xbox and PlayStation players interact with PC players. All three of them interacting at the same time grows it exponentially no matter what. Because you never... It, it's, it's like what happened with Rocket League. When Rocket League went to crossplay, the player base grew. Not, not just because... Um, you know, you had the ability to play with other players. It's because now that you have that ability, you don't have to worry about what what system you're on when you want to play with friends. You just get something, get, get some sort of system you can play a game on, and you play it, and you don't have to worry about those barriers. And if you knock down those barriers, you can then take NASCAR Heat and grow the audience. Never to the levels of Mario Kart. Trust me, that will never happen. But you can grow the audience with crossplay. And uh, it'll be a very healthy, uh, wide community there. 
And obviously iRacing up here, you know, you, you don't have crossplay because that's PC only. But in, in general, it would be the same idea that iRacing has. If iRacing were to ever, let's say, go to Xbox and PlayStation, it'll never happen. But I'm just I'm just pointing out iRacing on PC, you have one large community. Now, just imagine if you threw in Xbox and PlayStation, we could all play together. You'd have even a larger community. Um, sometimes when you when, when Xbox and PlayStation players have to neglect each other because they just can't race with each other, or can't play with each other. That community just gets a little bit smaller because there's not a lot of interaction there. Um, so if you can just grow it, it'll be great. That, that's my dream. I'm just saying this, this is my dream right here is crossplay. All right. This video went on way longer than I expected. So I'm going to stop it there. If you guys like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm not going to waste any more, any more of your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below with everything you think about everything you think about nascar 21 hopefully we get uh news soon i'm trying to talk as fast as possible so i can let you guys go all right take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your day and peace out i'll see you in july <laughs>